Hey everybody, it's Jossie Joss again, and I have a cool unboxing video. I don't know if it's cool, but it's an unboxing video. Yay! So a little backstory. Um, it's actually a loot crate that, uh, that I'm going to be unboxing today. Um, loot crate. I've actually had the subscription to loot crate for about two years. Yeah, it's a, it's my first subscription box. It's the longest lasting or the longest running subscription box that I have. Um, but I've never filmed an unboxing for it. I just kind of you know got the boxes in the mail, opened them up, and was like cool stuff or slightly mediocre stuff, but it's also also okay. Yay. Um. So, but since I started filming, uh, I figured, why not film this one? Because, yeah, why not? <laughs> so, it came in the mail after I got home from work. So here it is. And it's the January box, so it's Invasion. Just like if you watch my other video, the socks, um, the Level Up socks, those are also Invasion. So they're all the Loot Crate brand of their boxes and their level ups and even I think like the the loot pet which is a new box that they're doing for just strictly for pets are all the same theme so this month for January it's invasion so let's see what's inside the loot crate box and open it up and that's what it looks like inside so it looks like there's a t-shirt on top Black shirt, like most shirts are black shirts. Mm, stuff that's okay. And I think it's the X Files. So I think I remember reading something online that the X Files would be part of this box, but it looks like the, it's Mulder and Scully, and they're they're running away or towards I don't know, um, like an alien being. I don't know if you can see that. Right here and then like spaceships and stuff and then, oh there's an alien being I love that one too and then Mulder and Scully are on the bottom eh, here down there so that's pretty nice and it's a good quality shirt and uh, it even says uh, the X-Files on the tag so you know it's legit X-Files don't trust anyone trust no one Next is a plushie. It is a... <laughs> it's a face hugger plushie from Alien. In the movie Alien, kind of old school, but if you're a sci-fi fan, you know it. But it's not just a face hugger plushie. It's like a super adorable face hugger plushie with this super happy face. <laughs> He's super happy to latch onto your facial structure and probably murder you. Uh, but yeah, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, Alien, uh, it's made by Kid Robot, and he's a little adorable face to grab onto your face. This isn't attractive. Oh well, but um, he's soft, he's very soft actually, and uh, squishy. But it's just funny that it's like one of the scariest moments in Alien franchise, and it's been converted into this adorable little plushie. So, I guess if you make them into adorable little plushies, they're not that intimidating anymore. Hmm. Alright. Um, rubber band. Rubber band. Chinese yo-yo? Oh, wait. I get it. Okay, hold on. Stand by. Hold on. See if I can make this work on camera without having to cut. Let me move the tag over. Yes. Ugh. Come on, work. 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 Mm. Aha. Face hugger. You get it? The rubber band. Keeps the face hugger on my face. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. That was pretty random, but funny. So, 
you, if you guys get these box, or this box, excuse me, um, and you see a rubber band in there, it's primarily for that reason, so heads up. Um, let's go with this. So there's this cool Space Invaders vinyl figure. Um, looks like there's like three different kinds you can get. Let's see which one I got. Pop the box open. Ah, cool. I got the blue and green guy. It's pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, on the bottom, you can see it says the, the little logo again. Um, but Space Invaders... Put a probably you probably put like a light bulb behind it and you'll probably glow in the dark and it'll be pretty cool. But it's a nice little retro, I guess, thing if you're into that. Um, if you remember from my level up video, a lot of the stuff was had space invaders, so like there's a hoodie and like a t shirt. So this goes along with that too. So that's pretty nice. Um, another X Files item a flash. Uh, it's a little flashlight, LED flashlight. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. X Files. See, it X Files on the thing right there. Loot Crate exclusive. And batteries included, packaged separately. Um. <laughs> I think Loot Crate gypped me on my batteries. Cause I got none. That's a bummer. Well, the batteries are they anyway? Well, I'll probably have to open this up, but I don't have the proper tools to open this guy up yet. So if you guys get a loot crate for this month, make sure there's batteries in the box, because it says right here, batteries included packaged separately and I have nothing in my box so <sighs> slightly disappointing but what can you do all right moving on uh, this is pretty cool if you're a fan of fifth element which is a really really cool movie uh, with uh, Bruce Willis and Mila Jovovich a multi-pass it's a model of the multi-pass and what's I mean, honestly, I could, I could probably fit like a regular ID card or something in here. So, I mean, it says Lilo Dallas, which is kind of funny because if you watch the movie, the main character, uh, Bruce Willis's character, is his name is Corbin Dallas. So it's kind of like indicating something. Um, but yeah, it's a model of the actual multi pass from the movie. In the front. There's the back, comes with the ball chain. And I like this part. The like, winner! You know, like you're winning a prize from within the movie or something. So I might use that for like a con or something. I mean, maybe even for work. I mean, I have an ID for work. If I have to, you know, work backstage or something, I think that'd be kind of funny to have like my multi pass, but it's just my work ID. So, schnazz it up a bit. So that's pretty cool. And if you haven't checked it out, watch The Element. Good movie. Very good movie. Um, ooh, this is different. So, if you've gotten Loot Crate in the past, they usually give you a button that tells you the theme. Um, but I guess maybe this year they're trying something different. Loot Pins. And it's a actual, legit pin. Loot pins. Hashtag loot pins. Is it there? And uh, it says January 2016 invasion. So this might be a thing that they're trying to do. I know Marvel Collector Core and the Smuggler's Bounty and now the Legion of Collectors or Collections or Collectibles, whatever that one. The DC Box by Funko. Um, they're all doing the pin in the patch. And so that pin is actually really popular. And so maybe Loot Crate's trying to jump on that bandwagon so that. Uh, it's not just one of those little dinky buttons anymore. It's an actual, like, legitimate, like, like, pin, like, with the actual nice plug thingy, my bummer on it. Oh, 
And on the back it says, this pin unlocks something epic. And then there's a website, uh, lootcrate.com slash pins. I will check that out, and we'll see what happens. I really hope it's something special. I have a feeling it's just going to be a coupon. I don't know. We'll see. But that's cool. It's an actual pin compared to, like, a button. I collect pins thanks to Disney and stuff, so it would be nice to add it to my collection. Last but not least, I have this envelope in here. Invasion of the Mini Prince. So, inside envelope, there's a War of the Worlds print. That's pretty nifty with that creepy hand, alien hand, going in there. And the day the Earth stood still, and yet another creepy hand. When we keep this time, it's human. Those are pretty awesome prints, and it's on really good, like you can hear it, really good cardstock. So those are really nice. Um, don't know what I'll do with these. I could probably find someone who can actually appreciate it though. So, but that's really nice if you're into those types of like movie poster things and stuff and prints. I don't buy a lot of prints. I don't know where to put them in my house. So, um, but that's pretty nice. And then the booklet, of course, invasion and it indicates what we get each each time or each item. Um, huh, that's pretty cool. There is an article, How to Survive an Alien Invasion. So in case, in case alien comes and invades, Loot Crate's got you set up. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It's, it says it's by Geeks and Gamers, so basically it's like whatever video games and movies have told us to deal with aliens and stuff. Hmm. And moving on, there's like an article about the X-Files in here, and then the Mega Crate, which has a lot of stuff, I'll never win, plus it's like I don't even know what I'll do with all this stuff if I did win, and just give us money Loot Crate, just like a gift card or something. Anyway, let's see, I'm trying to get to where the items are. Because Loot Crate has really big magazine type thingies, so if you're getting this box, just be wary. The stuff is all the way in the back. Alright, so everyone gets the um, exclusive X-Files, the Day Has Come t-shirt, so that's that that t-shirt with uh, Mulder and Scully and the aliens. Then everyone gets the face hugger with the rubber band, and then also they get the uh, invader figure and there's three different colors so I got the blue and green one which is cool that's probably the one that I wanted the most of the three colors anyway so works out in my favor yeah um, everyone gets the multi-pass and the two uh, prints so that's cool and then the flashlight and then the pin, and according to this, it says, beginning this month, you'll see new and improved cloisson, you'd say French, which means it's fancy, style collector pin in every crate. Each pin unlocks something epic, but you'll need to go to the website to unlock the surprises. And from what it looks like it um, this month, it's a digital download for Letter 44, and it looks like a sci-fi type comic. Um, that's really cool that the pin will actually do that. I think that's really nice to get the fans involved. Um, probably feedback from other people saying that the pin was kind of lame or didn't do anything. So that's really nice that the the pin that the pin actually does something more than just look pretty on a lanyard or a jacket. Um, so that's really cool that Luke Crate's doing that. That's the January Loot Crate box. Uh, my favorite item in the box is probably the multi-pass, because I know I can use it. I am a fan of practical items. I'm a nerd, I'm a geek, I know that. But if I can get an item that's practical that I can actually use in my everyday life, I appreciate it more than, say, a print or a figure. Because a print, I don't know where I'll hang it, and a figure is just gonna sit somewhere and collect dust, so. 
That's just me. That's just my personal opinion. But, um, yeah. If you like Loot Crate, go ahead and subscribe to them. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get more active, I guess, in my YouTube channel. Um, it's random at the moment, you know, unboxing videos and K-pop concert fan cams and DDR performances and whatever random crap I decide to post. So uh, if, you have, if you are subscribed, thanks so much. I don't know how many of you are out there, but uh, keep on watching if you can. Spread the word. I know it's totally random, but I'm trying. Life is hard. Just <laughs> dealing with life. Um, but that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.